Question number one. Everyone close your eyes. All right, now raise your hand if you believe that you can tell me what the current time is right now. Keep your hands raised. Open your eyes and look around. Was it surprising to you how many people could tell the times? Okay, now raise your hand if you believe that you can tell me what your best friend's phone number is. Raise your hand if you have a phone charger in your backpack right now. <coughs> Raise your hand if you've ever charged your phone across the fort. Raise your hand if you've ever gotten your phone taken away across the fort. <laughs> Raise your hand if you believe that getting your phone taken away would be equivalent to a punishment. Okay, now everyone close your eyes. Raise your hand if you ever feel anxious when you don't have your phone on. Open your eyes and look around. These questions should have made you realize that not only you, but all of us are in a way victims to technology. So while you watch this performance, think about how well you relate to the characters and their relationship with technology. <coughs> Mr. Morris, I'm not sure you'll remember me, but my name is Abigail Rick, and I won the first great solo tech essay contest 10 years ago on why my town should become the most wired town in America. Oh, I remember her. She was like really good, like warm syrup on your waffles good. <laughs> we were very happy to have all the technology you donated to us, and everyone just loved the solo pads you gave to each of us. In fact, they used them for everything. School, work, social networking, playing games, well, everything. And I guess that's the problem. says is true. 
How anybody's life could be better without Solo? It can't be. Look, John, Madison and I will go to North Creek and we'll check things out for ourselves, tell you what's going on. After all, they applied to be the, the new head site for the virtual vacation thing, right, Madison? Virtual vacations for the busy traveler. See the world without ever having to leave your room. Brilliant! But little North Creek, Wisconsin, <laughs> as the vacation capital of the world? <laughs> Belize, besides, we found like way other cool places. South Beach, Aspen, North. But isn't the whole point of the virtual vacation that you don't have to be in the exotic place to go there? Okay, I'm all for this little fact-finding mission if Tom really wants to see if this Abigail girl is right, but you'll see that this little townlet is totally unsuitable for the resort. We'll see. I think we deserve a chance. What do you think, Tom? Tom? Maybe I'll come with you. What? what? Okay, no media. Little North Creek, Wisconsin. 